polygamist Mormon prophet caught transporting underage girls in a trailer. This is wild. On August 28th, 46-year-old Samuel Rapley Lee Bateman was arrested by local authorities in Arizona for abusing underage girls. The FBI accused Bateman of being a polygamist cult leader with at least 20 wives, many of whom were minors. The reports said that Bateman beat up those who did not greet him as a prophet and engaged in child sex trafficking with the help of several of his wives. Bateman was defiant, saying that he had committed sexual acts against minors, quote, in Heavenly Father's will. Authorities also charged three women, Naomi Bisline, uh, Donna Barlow, and Moretta Rose Johnson for kidnapping eight underage girls. Bateman is currently detained in Florence, Arizona, and awaits a trial scheduled for January 10th. Aside from the accusations of child abuse, he's also facing charges of destroying evidence, which could carry a 20-year prison sentence. Uh, Adam K. Zickerman, Bateman's attorney, defended him, saying that the case revolves around religious persecution. So I think one thing that would help us with this case is if you go down into our article, there's like a two-minute video that would give um, a further good overview. So not this one. It's a little further down. Yeah, like, let's watch this really quick, and this will give us some more details for everyone. Camera video shows the moments authorities pulled over this truck and trailer in Flagstaff. The reason why? Saw fingers poking out of the trailer. With guns drawn, they opened the doors. See the hands! Finding three young girls. How old are you? 14. 14. How old are you? 11. How old are you? 12. Also inside the trailer, a couch, camping chairs, and a makeshift toilet. When they tried questioning the girls, this woman in the maroon dress stepped in. Basically telling them all. Then one of the officers noticed. A 14 year old, she had a ring on her finger, on her ring yeah, finger. Man. They've all kind of like hidden those. I mean, they're, we, we, we know what's going on. Here. Police say the person driving the truck is this man, Samuel Bateman. Court documents claim Bateman is a self-proclaimed prophet, part of the polygamous group with the FLDS. Investigators say Bateman has dozens of followers and more than 20 wives, many of them underage. He's also accused of sexually abusing multiple girls, trafficking them across state lines. As you can see, it's a pretty serious deal here, sir. Police tried to question him about the trailer. How many other people in the truck? But Bateman refuses to answer. How many other people are in the truck? When another officer tries... Explain to me what's going on. Calm down. Bateman was eventually arrested. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. After some pushback. So you're under arrest for a okay? The next day he made bail, but was arrested again on federal charges in Colorado City, Arizona, at his encampment. Arizona authorities taking in eight young girls found there, all said to be Bateman's wives. But while Bateman was behind bars, the FBI says he was still in contact with his followers, asking his other wives to break the girls out of Valley Group homes. They were successful making it all the way to Spokane, Washington, before the girls and the three wives accused of taking them were found at an Airbnb. It's so freaking wild. I'm so glad that they caught this guy. He was just running across state lines with underage girls in a horse trailer. In a horse trailer. And there was some passerby. He got busted because some passerby saw there were children's fingers sticking out of the trailer, like through the side when they were driving by him on the highway. And so they called the police and then that's how they got busted. So they went and they saved a bunch of these girls, but then some of his wives that were adults went, kidnapped these girls from state foster care or from the state authorities who were charged with protecting these girls and kidnapped them all the way up to Washington State when they were finally apprehended. It's so crazy. How did it get so away part of, with these I mean, Armin, before I go so deeper into the details... Sorry, go ahead. No, you go ahead. Well, no, I was just going to ask you, before I go into more detail, like, what's your reaction to what we just heard? 
I just, it just weird to me that they could get away with stuff like this for so long before they would accidentally get caught. Like, what if they, what if the guy didn't see the finger? Like, is this going to continue? Like, the guy is just having uh, sex with like underage uh, women, you know, girls, and then it's just going to happen. Like, is this? It just, it just, it's just amazing to me that in a country like this, stuff like this could just, just happen, and it could just go on for a while. Yeah, but good. There well. is so much stuff that goes on with the fundamentalist Mormons that is so freaking like objection understatement. And the the government of Utah, where, where most of this stuff is based out of, like they know that this hap is happening. They know that polygamy is happening. It's open it's in the public they will go on the steps of the capital for legal plural marriage and publicly say so in violation of the law and like nothing is done about it nothing's done about it and so part of the background is that these are people that come from an, an offshoot of the fundamentalists church of latter-day saints more commonly known as the mormons and this particular group of fundamentalists were originally followers of Warren Jeffs. Now, Warren Jeffs is possibly the most famous, like, abusive FLDS, fundamentalist, Latter-day Saints, um, cult leader, prophet, abuser, because he, I don't even remember how many, he had dozens and dozens and dozens of wives Tons of them were children, all the way to the age of 12. And he got busted about 10 years ago and continued to run his cult, which was severely abusive and had an extremely high degree of control over the community um, from, from prison. And eventually some of his power subsided, da, da, da. And so this guy used to be what i've read you used to have some association with warren jeff's community he came from that community and then they he's kind of seen as like a spiritual successor to him by some by many people and basically continued like this cycle of, of cultic abuse and using many of the same tactics he would give his wives to other men as gifts as ordained by god so to speak and like child sex trafficking he would convince or entrap other members to give up their own wives to him or to give up their children or sisters as wives to him because of the degree of control that he had over the entire community like assaulting people who didn't recognize his authority like all this stuff and i think part of this comes from a problem that is inherent to the mormon faith itself like based on what i've learned i think that even mainline mormonism is a destructive cult um it just has more marketing and to make it seem more acceptable and like just more mainstream mormon so to speak are more common in the population and um many of them are very nice people like this is nothing about the people this is about the way in which that belief system exerts control over the individual's life that that is what defines something as like destructive as a destructive cult group right like i know mormons myself that are like very friendly nice people you know so it's not a judgment on their character what i'm saying I just want people to be aware of like how um, overarching and highly controlling um, it really is in reality. But the fundamentalist, you know, Latter-day Saints is on a whole different level. And part of the problem is, and it's been a long time since I've studied Mormonism, so I can't accurately recall all the details, but there, the notion of prophethood and the way that it works within the Mormon faith is complex and that it's like kind of antithetical to Islam. There is no final seal of the prophet. Like my understanding, and it's rusty, is that if you get high enough within the church, there's like a level, there's like a tier in which you're called a prophet. Like this is actually something that can be actively achieved. And so this system or 
these these things continue to keep happening in these ways because the faith actively facilitates respecting the so-called you know selected men as prophets having to observe their authority over entire communities not just their own family or whatever and so the way in which the doctrine actually endorses this kind of um prophethood as something that can continue to be attained by many men um it 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 continues these systems of abuse essentially get my best selling book why there is no god for free click on the link for it in the description